Hi, I'm Mike, founder of GoodBed.com. Today we're going to take a quick look at four brand new pillows from Tempur-Pedic. And they are the Cloud, the Pro Low, the Pro Mid, and the Pro High. And we also have two other pillows here. We've got the Symphony and we've got the Tempered Cloud Breeze Dual Cooling Pillow. Those are a couple of pillows that are, uh, they've been around for a while and they're, they're super popular. So we just thought they'd be helpful reference points here to have for you, just for context. But we're basically gonna run you through uh, each of these four new pillows and their features and characteristics and then give you a little bit of guidance on how to choose between them. So stick around. So I'm gonna start out by talking a little bit about the cooling features of these pillows because all four of these new pillows use the same approach to adding a cooling property to the pillow. Uh, and that approach is pretty novel. What basically they do is they've, they've woven in a, a denser fiber into the fabric and that fiber, uh, by virtue of its density, has kind of an intrinsic coolness to it, to the touch. Um, much in the same way that uh, a dense material like marble has kind of a coolness to the touch when you, when you touch it relative to a less dense material like wood or something like that. Um, so that is a particularly clever way to add cool into the touch. Um, and by the way, I also can attest personally to the fact that you do notice there is a, there is a palpable coolness to the touch here. And, and just for uh, comparison, I can flip these over because they don't have it on the bottom side. So I can tell you that even the quote unquote cool side of the pillow in this case doesn't feel as cool as the top of the pillow in this case. So, um, but what's novel about this approach and particularly useful as a benefit for you is that all these pillows also have removable uh, cases to them. So uh, that removability makes them washable. And uh, the neat thing about the approach that they've taken to adding this cooling property is that this is not something that can wash off because it is just a dense fiber woven into the fabric. Uh, by contrast, a lot of uh, pillows these days that people are making that have kind of a coolness to the touch, uh, achieve that by adding, uh, like kind of applying something to the surface of the fabric, which uh, by virtue of that approach is something that can be washed off if you were to wash that pillowcase. So um, this in a sense is a uh, temper's way of, of giving that cooling property and making it more impervious to, uh, to losing it over time as you wash things. Now we're going to get into some of the individual characteristics of these pillows. And one of the things you may notice right off the bat is that we've got these organized more or less in order from lowest to highest. Um, so I'll start with the cloud pillow because uh, that's the lowest of the new pillows. A couple of things you want to notice about this. Um, first is the rectangular shape. Pillows take different shapes. This one's a rectangle. Uh, if I turn it like this, you can see also that it's relatively thin. Um, and uh, you also notice that it doesn't have any kind of like dome, doming. Some, of the, some pillows have kind of more of a domed shape, including some of these. Um, but uh, this one's relatively flat surface. Uh, and the other thing I'll, I'll show you is just it's, it's pretty soft, um, which when you're talking about a pillow, the softness matters a lot in terms of its kind of effective thickness, because really the effective thickness is gonna be how thick is it when, you, when it has the weight of your head on it. Um, so, so the softness makes it even thinner than its already fairly thin profile. Um, a couple other things to note, uh, like all these temper pillows, it's got that kind of slow responding memory feel. Um, the coolness, I can certainly attest to the fact that I, I can feel the coolness to the touch, as I mentioned, particularly I can feel it on my head since I don't have any hair up there. Um, and uh, so that's pretty much the characteristics of the cloud pillow. So now let's take a look at these pro pillows. Um, and as you can see, there's the low, the mid, and the high. Uh, they're more or less the same pillow, just in kind of three different heights in order to accommodate different uh, sleepers and different combinations of sleeper, sleep position, and mattress. Um, I tried all three of these on the uh, Adapt Medium Hybrid mattress. Um, I did it in my back and on my side just to give you some sense of kind of how it works for one person on that particular mattress uh, with each of these pillows. Uh, so we'll show you some of that as we as we go through these. In terms of the uh, low pillow, uh, you'll first notice again this rectangular shape. Uh, you'll notice a little bit of doming on the top side, but none on the bottom. Uh, I'll also add that it's pretty soft. Uh, I would say even softer than the, the McLeod pillow. Uh, and probably a little bit lighter as well. Um, 
So overall, that uh, softness combined with the thin profile contributes together to that uh, relatively low effective thickness. In terms of the mid, um, this one uh, just gets a little bit thicker, as you can see, has a little bit more doming on the top, but again, still none on the bottom, um, and still has that same rectangular shape. Um, but it also has a little bit more firmness to the foam. So um, that again, that combined with the added thickness um, kind of contributes to a, an even greater differential in the effective thickness. Um, and of course, all of these uh, pro pillows have that kind of slow responding uh, memory effect. Uh, so that's consistent across all of them. So now moving on to the uh, Pro High. Um, this is the, it's obviously the highest loft uh, of that little collection. Uh, you see also some doming on the one side and the flat on the bottom side. Uh, and again, this is now even more kind of firm in addition to being thicker. So uh, creating even more effective thickness differential from the medium. Um, but uh, overall, again, still has that rectangular shape, still has that uh, slow responding feel. So in terms of choosing between these, uh, in general, when you're pillow shopping, there's going to be a lot of factors to consider that go well beyond the effective thickness of the pillow. Um, but in this case, these four pillows are pretty similar on all, all these other dimensions. You know, they all have the same general rectangular shape. Uh, they all have uh, the cooling properties on one side of the pillow. They all have that kind of memory feel. Um, so really it's gonna come down to the effective thickness of these when you're choosing between these four. Um, in terms of the effective thickness and choosing the right one for you, uh, the goal here is to basically just fill the, the, the space between your head and the bed. Um, and the most important thing to understand about doing that is that choosing the right effective thickness is going to be a function of not just you, uh, and your weight, and not just what position you sleep in, but also which mattress you sleep on. So it's the combination of all those things that you have to find a match for. Just to illustrate that point, all else being equal, a side sleeper has a bigger gap between their head and the bed than a back sleeper. Uh, likewise, someone with broader shoulders might have a bigger gap between them and the bed if they're a side sleeper. Uh, likewise, uh, someone who sinks into their mattress more, whether because they're bigger or because their mattress just allows more sink, needs less, has less of a gap. Um, and so there's a lot of different factors like that and you really need to kind of figure out what's the right uh, match for you, but it all boils down to just filling that space between your head and the bed. So for me, if you saw those pictures, the one that worked out the best was really that cloud uh, model. In general, both on my back and on my side, given how much my shoulder was sinking into the mattress, uh, I felt like my the top of my spine in that neck area uh, was in best alignment with that cloud pillow. I probably could also go with the, the pro low as well, uh, but certainly the pro high was too high for me on that mattress, even when I was sleeping on my side. So we hope you found this to be a helpful overview of these four new pillows from Tempur-Pedic. For more helpful information about how to choose the right mattress or pillow for you, go to goodbed.com. In the meantime, we thank you for watching and we really hope you sleep well.